And then we had John Moxley and Wheeler Yuta, and this match was awesome. It's tremendous. Moxley's coming to the ring, and Yuta hits him with this dive immediately, and they have this big brawl. And and uh, the story of the match is Yuta ends up getting sent into, I think it was the steps, and he comes, comes up, up bleeding. Well, it, was a cur- he, it was a curb stomp on the steps, and he comes up just bleeding like crazy. He's bleeding everywhere. And so he gets back in the ring, and he's bleeding, and... And, uh, you know, Moxley's beating on him, and then Yuta starts to fight back, and they start going crazy. And uh, Yuta starts kicking out of all of his big moves. He kicked uh, out of the kicks out of the twice. He, well, he kicked out, yeah, first he kicks out of the uh, just the DDT version. And uh, later he kicks out of the Death Rider, which is the Brain Buster version. Kicks out of both of those. Every time he kicked out, this place just went more crazy. They're chanting his name. He gets out of the bulldog choke. He puts a bulldog choke of his own on. Place is going crazy. Moxley gets out, hits the uh, the big Death Rider. Uh, he kicks out of that to a huge pop, and then Moxley puts him in the bulldog choke again, and uh, and he goes out. So uh, Moxley beats him, but then he gets up, and he's got the look on his face like, my God, I can't believe this guy gave me this fight. Because, of course, the first time they you know, wrestled, it was just an absolute massacre. Second time, it was less of a massacre. At this one, you know, they did the whole, can you to beat him? You know, kicking out of the big moves, covered in blood. And so, people place chanting his name. Regal and Danielson come down to the ring. Yuta gets to his feet. Regal extends the hand. And uh, Yuta shakes. And so, uh, he puts his hand on his face. He writes... Uh, BCC for Blackpool Combat Club on his own chest and blood. In his own blood, yeah. Moxie says, now the real work begins. So apparently he's in. He's in. And, uh, yeah, I know uh, Tony apparently came out after this was over and was like a, a kid on Christmas. They created the star. And, boy, they sure did make a star out of Wheeler Yuta. Well, they made match. something out of him. So this was, you know, I, when I always talk about, like, things of, like, putting people over and not putting people over and stuff like that. And it's not about wins and losses. It's about when, when like, you'll see, you know, that had to do with Scott Hall and with a lot of other people, too, you know, where they can lose, but they don't put anybody over. And this, in a case, John Moxley put him over and beat him. You know, it's like, it's like, there's, it's, there's, it's a, you know, and there's a big, big difference. It's like if you go in there with someone and you just eat him up and eat him up and you slip on the banana peel and he beats you and you go, oh, I did the job for him and he, you know, he didn't get over. It's like, yeah, you didn't put him over. You do this, you can still beat him at the end if you give him enough of the match and you make it look like he can beat you as opposed to he fluked into beating you. And he can benefit from that. And the other one, nobody benefits. You know, that's not, if, if the other guy, if, if you lose to a guy, in a manner that does not benefit him at all. You didn't put nobody over. You put yourself over, okay? But but you can fool people and go, oh, I'm unselfish. I put people over, you know? And it's like, no, you didn't. You know, it's like Hulk Hogan and Billy Kidman thing, right? Remember that? Where it's like, I put Billy Kidman over, you know? How come he didn't get over? It's like, because he didn't put him over. This was a situation where Danielson kind of put him over. I mean, he put him over to a, to a degree to get you to notice him, and in this one, Moxley put him over to make him a star. And that was the idea of this match, you know, and and it worked. The match worked perfectly. Well, the other key to the match is that uh, Moxley won, but he won because he was able to finally put this guy to sleep because he could not pin this guy. He could not submit this guy. He was unable to beat him in either of those ways. And so he finally had to get him in that choke, and the guy went unconscious, and and that's how he beat him. So, I mean, you couldn't do more to put a guy over in losing than what we saw in this match here. Well, it was perfect. It was a perfect match for what they were trying to accomplish, you know, which was they, they didn't want him to win because then you wouldn't have the thing where, you know, you do the thing at the end. The thing at the end wouldn't have worked with him winning. Because Moxley would have had to beat him up and things like that afterwards. So Moxley had to win this match. But this was the way to put the guy over. And I guess now he's in the group. And and uh, hopefully hopefully he benefits in the long run from this. Um, you know, he's a very good wrestler. 
Um, so we'll have to wait and see. Like, you know, now, you know, obviously now is the follow up. You know, if you don't, you know, you can do this, but if there's no follow up, he won't, he won't necessarily be over. If there's good follow up, um, and I'm, I mean, obviously he's going to be in a group that's being pushed. Uh, but, and he'll probably get wins. Um, and we'll have to wait and see. I mean, like, uh, we'll have to wait and see what happens, but they couldn't have done a better job. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week, you can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.